stabilized video pattern um, it's just because I'm in a car and I was traveling lately so I couldn't sit down and film a video about the acting update so in this video I would like to give you guys an update about um, how my accurate journey is going on um, so as you guys know I am in month six right now I have a little bit of tinted moisturizer on me today uh, but other than that I'm not wearing any um, not wearing any makeup whatsoever so I don't have any breakouts at this point other than the keloid scars that I have along my jawline um, on both sides I have that when I started my accident and it's still there I don't think it's gonna go away um, so I think I have to do something um, more intense uh, for my scar treatment um, yeah but for now, I am going to be doing or continue with my acting for a few more months, but not um, at a higher dose. Like I'm at 40 milligrams right now, but I'm going to go down to 10 milligrams for I don't know maybe a few months. That means three to four months, um, and then just stop it. Uh, but while I'm on my low dose acutane, low dose acutane, I'm gonna do some scar treatments for my keloids. I have an appointment with my dermatologist. Sorry, my hand. <laughs> okay, so I have an appointment with my dermatologist next month um, for the scars, and also I have some red spots, guys. But this, you know, the red spots that I'm having is um, can be covered with like a tinted moisturizer so that's not even like intense but the keloid scars are and the other things that I noticed on my skin is that um, previously when I had acne on my face when the acne is gone like when the breakouts are gone I would end up with some red scars on my face and it fades away and it's gone but now whatever acne breakouts I'm having on my skin when they are gone it's turning into a keloid scar which is so weird and annoying <laughs> but um, yeah but we're gonna get rid of that as well so I think the plan is to do some corticosteroid injections on the on the keloid scar and get rid of it and the other option would be doing surgery but I don't think surgery uh, for a scar is a, I mean for a keloid scar is a good option just because after the surgery you're left with scars again and that can turn to that can turn to keloid again so I don't want that so I think I'm just gonna go with the corticosteroid injection but not too sure about it yet I'll let you guys know um, yeah, I'll let you guys know. And um, I just wanted to uh, let you guys know something that I'm getting so many messages the same. Um, there's lots of scars on my face um, after the acute. It's not going away. It's taking a lot of time. Guys, you just have to understand something that this is going to take some time. So be patient. I mean, patient. Patience is the important thing that you need uh, while you're on this journey. So be very patient because it's going to take a long, long, long period of time for the entire scar to fade away. As I said, the acutin is not going to take care of any scars that you have. Um, it's just for the acne breakouts. It kills the acne bacteria that you're having on your face. But it's going to leave a lot of scars um, on your face. Like red marks that can be covered with um, makeup or if you do a chemical peel or something like that it can be cured that way as well but just imagine I'm, I'm getting keloid scars you guys which looks super ugly so and I am putting up with it it's been seven months now I mean six months now already and the keloid scars are getting bigger and bigger and I'm not being impatient and complaining so just just try to understand the fact that everything takes a lot of time and patience to get to your goal so if you're pushing something if you're stressing some, something too much then that's not gonna end up in a good way so yeah and as for the side effects well i'm not experiencing any side effects at all at this point i don't know if my body is kind of adjusted to the medication but um 
but yeah just the dryness and that's that's all i'm experiencing for the side effect um for those of you guys who don't know i'm still on um band 35 which is the birth control uh, for acne so um, that's gonna go hand in hand with Accutane for a few more months as well. Yeah, I think that's that's all I need to let you know about my Accutane.